Hey everyone, this is Wade from FlowTube Fanatics and FishFinderMounts.com. We're taking a look at the Hummingbird Helix 5 DI unit. And we've got it set up on our 5 amp hour magnetic boat mount kit you can see here. And this is the magnetic transducer mount that we have the DI, Helix DI transducer set up on. We've got the protective plastic on here soon. Pull, pull that off here so everybody can have a look. It's actually a fairly large transducer. You can see the size of it to my hand. It's probably about four inches long. It's very similar to the Lawrence Elite 5 HDI and Elite 4 HDI and all their other HDI transducers. This is the Elite 7, same transducer again. On there, this is a big transducer, heavy but it's easily handled by our 15 millimeter magnetic transducer mount. And uh, I was showing everybody earlier in another video that I shot the different uh, menu settings. If you want to adjust either side, you have to select which side you want to adjust here, which is kind of an interesting um, sort of way of doing things. You can change the, the size of each side, which is kind of neat. You can enhance the sensitivity of the DI portion. You can see as I crank it up, it gets more noisy. Um, so you probably would never run it at that high. Of course, here when you turn it down, it gets even a little bit more clear and easy to understand, or see, or sort of interpret, if you will. And the nice thing with these finders is you can take your traditional sonar and you can compare them and you can kind of see okay here's my fish and you can kind of look over here and say yeah that's in, in, indeed a fish so you can kind of validate one type of sonar with another to make sure that what you're reading you think you know this is what it is and you can just double check it with the other uh, technology and then your structure scan you can really see what's going on you know here's the elite 4x hdi i really like this finder i think it's a great finder for small watercraft uh, especially float tubes over there I like the uh outcast fat cat lcs model there but uh, i have to say the um down scan imaging portion of it we'll just scroll through this um select a different so this goes di only so you can use this page button to kind of go go to different um screens and uh, we'll select that by hitting enter and it'll pull up just the DI portion or the down scan imaging that's what uh, Lawrence calls their uh, that that scanning technology the down scan imaging this is down imaging for hummingbird and Garmin calls it their down view technology I believe DV that's their DV units so um, we could go to view I think here um, now this is in simulating mo simulation mode so it may not there we go so you can scroll but switch between the two. There we go. We can just go easily by exiting out of what the, the menu we are in by hitting menu or exit. And then you can just hit view until you just get only DI, the down scan imaging or the down imaging um, view viewer here. And that's pretty descriptive of what's going on on the bottom there. If you're a bass fisherman and you're fishing structure, that's a very... Uh, very great advantage to have one of these down scan imaging fish finders and then you can see it's showing you the depth as well here the temperature up here the depth here from the surface of the water to the bottom and you can just see here this is the Elite 7X HDI on our 10 amp hour premium mounting edition here it's high capacity it's five more amp hours than our next biggest mount and here you can see the magnetic transducer mount mounted in a transom fashion so you can see if this is the back of your boat how the transducer would be coming off of it here at the transom so that's a really cool solution there 
And then you can see you can also put the transducers on the side because there's a bisecting hole in the magnetic transducer. So you can put the you can set up your transducer either on the side of your boat, your kayak, your canoe, whatever it may be. I mean, obviously, if you have a kayak or canoe, you know most most of those boats don't have transoms, so you're going to need a side mounting solution. We have that in spades. And you can see the HDI transducer, and then this is their traditional or their their dual dual beam size, old size uh, transducers. The interesting thing too is nowadays, like the, the kayak uh, market, they started making um, all-in-one kayak sort of mounting kits or solutions through the scupper, but now you have these really large transducers on all these downscan imaging technology uh, trans uh, fish finders. So because of that, you can't really do a scupper mount like that anymore. So you're back to coming up with a do-it-yourself solution or buying something like what we have here, which is just fabulous. For your kayak canoe, small John boat, V, v hull aluminum, as long as you can get to the outer wall of the boat and put your inside magnet in the boat and then at the same time reaching outside and then just clamping it on. It acts as an invisible clamp so you can see how those look when they're on there. So this is Wade from fishfindermounts.com. You can call us at one 855 784 three four seven four to get your perfect fish finder mounting solution we're just about to go to a couple trade shows here in alberta and we're excited about that so i've got everything set up on our trade show our sort of a, we're doing a trade show preparation setting everything up making sure everything's ready to go properly so that's what i'm showing you here now so thanks for watching everyone and again i'm wade talk to you soon